Hello, I'm Kara and this is the Big Green Bus. When you first come into the bus, here's the driver's seat area. Not much has changed in this area of the bus. We just use it for storage. So we have a bin for our shoes, um, some cleaning supplies, and it's nice and cold up here so we can also store extra food or drinks. We also keep our masks right by the door so when we leave the bus we can wear one because it's 2020. So masks and hand sanitizer are a necessity. Still here in the front we have our traveling gnomes, a drone for additional footage if we're traveling, a big jellyfish. I really like jellyfish so there's several art pieces involving jellyfish throughout the bus. On the back of this wall, here's another jellyfish. We also keep the tools for the fireplace and a fire extinguisher. In the winter months, the front of the bus can get pretty cold. So we have this blanket here to separate the driver's seat area from the rest of the bus. So now we have a good divide between the front of the bus and the living area. It just helps keep all the heat back here. Um, living in the bus with magnetic ceilings comes in really handy to put this wall up. I just used safety pins and hooked them into the edge of the blanket so that I can hook them onto these hook magnets. And these things are really great. Um, you can use them for anything and obviously they can just stick to the ceiling anywhere you want. This middle portion of the bus has the living room, the kitchen, and the dining room. This is where we mostly hang out and watch TV, and this is also where I work when I'm working from home. Here is the heating area. We do have a couple options for heat during the cold winters. On a normal winter day, the electric heater is more than enough heat to keep the bus warm. But on those really cold days where it's below freezing, we use this wood-burning stove. This is a Cubic Mini, the Grizzly, and on top of it is an eco fan that helps push the hot air around the bus. Under the heating area is where I store my worm composting bin. So it's an indoor compost and also a bucket to keep the ashes from the wood burning stove. Under here we have some more storage. We keep the wood for the stove, a uh, small stove, small wood. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting a mini cubic grizzly, you're gonna have to chop the wood into smaller pieces. Also under here, I store some teaching supplies. So I do teach English as a secondary income. So this is just storage for some of the props and materials that I use to do that. The TV is a 50 inch smart TV. And all of the windows have these blinds. They can just roll down when we want less light to come in and on a nice sunny day when we want the bus really lit up, we can just roll them up and they fit right into the legs that are holding up the shelf. The couch here is six feet long. It does fold down into a bed. However, it's not very comfortable. We did put some extra foam padding on it uh, just for when we're sitting, it's a little extra cushion. And then underneath we have some more storage for our plates and other kitchen utensils. In the kitchen, we have an L-shaped counter with a little sink in the corner. And then we do have additional storage again here in these open shelves. These shelves sort of circle the entire bus. Um, they're great. We have more storage than we can use. And then under the countertops, we also have additional storage. So for cooking, um, under here, we do have a little convection oven. 
And also we have one stove top. So we can put it here and just move the fruit basket and voila. On the other side of the bus, we have a table, which has also become my workspace. I've been teaching English as a second language for secondary income. And again, we have the magnetic ceilings. So I can just magnet these props that I use for teaching to the ceiling, and then I have them when I need them. And when I'm not using them, we have the table where we can sit and eat or play cards for an evening. These chairs function as extra storage space. They open up and within them we store our larger kitchen appliances. Uh, we have an Instapot. We also keep larger bowls and strainers within them. Okay, so when I am teaching here, I just set up my computer on the table and I have a bunch of these tapestries that have sort of fun backgrounds on them and again everything's magnetic so I can just click them up here and when the camera from my computer looks back it looks like I'm on the beach or in the jungle or on the moon. As we move towards the back of the bus, on top of the wheel well is the freezer and refrigerator. So it's a pretty good size for a bus. If the refrigerator is full, it is food for the two of us for about two weeks. As we turn the corner, we enter the hallway into the back of the bus. You can see there's a bedroom in the back of the bus. As we walk through the hallway, on the left is the bathroom. The bathroom is sitting on top of the other wheel well. We do have a nature's head composting toilet and we also have a pretty large shower for uh, such a small space. We have a 100 gallon freshwater tank and we also have a 10 gallon water heater. So we get about 10 minutes of really hot water. Across from the bathroom, we just have extra storage for toiletries, some dry food and canned food, and then stuff for the cats. And all the way in the back of the bus here is the bedroom, and there are two of the three cats that are living here with us. Over in this corner is just another little workspace. Um, the cats use it much more than I do. Beneath is a printer. When I started working from home, I needed access to printing, so I always have that with me. It is wireless. That's Luna the cat. She likes that desk. And on the other side over here, we have the closet and where I store all of my clothes. Beneath where all of the clothes are hanging, I have these four bins that are just used for additional clothing storage. Next to the bed, there is a pathway that goes all the way to the back of the bus. Here we have additional storage, so um, for some more clothes and some books. Going around the top, we have these shelves that are mostly used for decoration, so pictures and artwork. The bed is a queen size bed. And over here is one of many beds for the cats, but they usually just prefer to be on the bed or the couch. Uh, under the bed is some more storage. There's also a hundred gallon fresh water tank. So if we were to be off grid, uh, we can do that. We don't have solar yet, but we do have a generator. So we can be off grid for about a week maybe a little bit longer. Not that much different than being in a larger size house. It's just a little bit smaller and we can go wherever we want. So I hope you enjoyed our bus tour and thanks for watching.